Hello, my name is Derek Opitz and I'm a field application engineer for Vector. In this video, I'm going to show you how to debug the VectorCast harness inside of QNX Momentix. First of all, I'm going to show you my setup real quick so that we can get a feel for what we're actually debugging. So I'm going to go to Tools, Options, and we're going to see that the compiler template that I've chosen is QNX, B7+, x86-64, GDB, C++. And when you select that, you get a GDB command that is used for execution of the VectorCast harness. And this is this GDB command we're going to need when we get to QNX Momentix. So I'm going to copy this. And we are going to stick this into Notepad++, or Notepad actually, so that we'll have this when we get to the X debug phase. So then the next thing we need to talk about is how do you do execution with debug from VectorCast? Well, you simply right click on the test case and you have two options. You have with coverage and you have without coverage. Typically, you will want to debug without coverage because it's going to be easier to see what's happening when you're executing your function under test. You won't have the instrumentation points to have to skip over or debug through and that sort of thing and it just makes it easier. Um, if you need to debug with coverage, you can, but I would highly recommend you debug without coverage. So we're going to choose without coverage. And when you do that, VectorCast launches a command window. And inside that command window, we're going to set up a debug.ini file. And what that debug.ini file does is it tells QNX what commands need to be executed inside of GDB to start debugging the harness. So the first one is we need to connect to the target. That's what this can that this command is here. It tells it says, hey, connect to this QNX target at this IP address and this port number. And then we're going to upload the executable, the VectorCast harness, to the QNX operating system. Uh, we're going to set, set breakpoints on main, and then the next breakpoint we're going to set is going to be on the function under test. That's the function here called process ADC that this test case was written against. And so we want to set a breakpoint on process ADC because that's where we're going to want to stop execution and start debugging. And all of these commands are getting sent to a debug.ini file. And we will use this debug.ini file when we get to QNX Momentix. So the next thing that happens, the last thing that happens, is it calls QDE. This is the VectorCast Momentix launcher. And it brings up this little screen here, and it asks for a workspace. And I'm going to launch this using the default workspace. So this is going to take about 15 seconds to launch. Um, Actually, it only took about five, but that's good. So now we need to set up a debug configuration. This is a one-time step that you'll need to set up on each computer that you have VectorCast on. And after that, you shouldn't ever need to set it up again. So we go to debug configurations. And from C, C++ QNX application, we want to create a new configuration. So we right-click and say new configuration. And the first thing it asks for is a name. So we're going to give it a name, a VectorCast debug. The project is going to be whatever projects you want to build. In this case, we don't have one that we want to build in, in debug. We already have one that's already built from inside of VectorCast, so we can ignore the project. The next is our C, C++ application. So for this, I'm going to go to one that I already have set up and copy over the, um, the actual application name, and I'll show you why, because we were using environment variables for this. So I'm going to go back in here, I'm going to paste this in, and we'll talk about it. So QNX Momentix is an Eclipse-based debugger, and the nice thing about Eclipse is it allows you to use environment variables if you use the proper syntax. And the syntax being, give it env underscore var, and give it a colon here, and then give it the name of your environment variable. So in this particular case, we have two environment variables that are set up by VectorCast. VCV environmenter and VCV executable name. So by using these two environment variables, we can make the path to the test VectorCast test harness um, completely portable, meaning that no matter what unit test environment you want to debug, as long as you launch QNX from inside of VectorCast, these environment variables will be set up and your path will already be configured for you. 
The next thing is we want to disable auto build because we don't want to build anything. We already have a built uh, vector cast test harness, and so we want to disable auto build. And then we just want to verify that our target IP address is correct. And this is the correct target IP address for my board. So we're done with the main screen. Now we want to go to the debug. So here is where we want the name of our GDB debugger. So I'm going to go back to my um, scratch pad here. I'm going to grab this name of this debugger. I'm going to put it right in here. So that's the actual GDB command that we want to use. And then our GDB command file is that debug.any file that we created. So if we go back to our prompt here, this debug.any, this is what we want to use for our debugging. Okay, so we've got our debug.any. Now we want to apply this, and now we can select debug, and this should bring up the Vectorcast harness in, into main. So you can see here we're inside of main. We stopped at main, and Vectorcast is sitting here with the prompt right here at the very start of main inside the Vectorcast harness. And you notice over here from that debug.any, we have some breakpoints set over here. We've got one on main, and then we've got one on process ADC, which is our function under test. If you were debugging a different function, then this name would be different here. It's going to change with each unit test environment and each test that you debug. That's automatically configured for you by Vectorcast. Okay? So we have a breakpoint on process ADC. So if we hit our resume button here, execution is going to stop on process ADC here. Okay? So now you notice it stopped on some this if statement, which is SBF underscore nine underscore one. This is vector cast code that we add to the top of the functions to deal with stuff by function. We don't want to debug all of this. So we want to scroll down until we find the part of the code that's actually the real code um, that's part of process ADC. And that's going to start here on line 56. So you notice there's a semicolon here with a vcast internal start, vcast internal end. We wrap this syntax right here above and below the actual code that's part of the function. So you can go find these little markers, set your breakpoint here, hit resume, and now you're ready to start debugging your harness. So like we can step into calc ADC average, and over here you can see your call tree. So here's main, here's us, here's three different functions that are part of the Vectorcast harness, and you can see the Vectorcast harness here calls process ADC, which is the function under test, which is right here, and then process ADC calls call calc ADC average. So you can see that we're inside of this function. So now we're debugging our code. And you notice down, down here is where the vector cast harness data is coming out. So you can actually see what's happening um, from a test perspective if you want to as well. And if you had code coverage enabled, you would see the code coverage data coming out here as well. So here I've shown you how to debug VectorCast and had the VectorCast harness in QNX Momentix. And I've showed you how to set up a debug configuration. So now if we're done with our debugging, we can hit this red terminate button and we're done debugging. And over here, we want to probably clear out all of our breakpoints because the next time that we execute from VectorCast, we're going to set those breakpoints up again. So we don't want to have a bunch of um, too many breakpoints and too much stuff clogging up our debug. So let's remove all here, clear that out, and now we're good to go. Okay, so now when you exit out of QNX, control is going to come back to this command prompt. So if we just hit, if we type exit from here, you notice control goes back to vector cast. We didn't finish the test harness, so it failed here. Um, but now let's say that we wanted to create a different function. So let's come here and let's go to execute with debug without coverage. Here is our creation of our debug.any. You notice now we're setting, instead of setting a breakpoint on process ADC, now we're setting a breakpoint on set ADC values because that's the, that's this, the function over here that we're actually debugging. We still have our QNX Momentix IDE launcher, which we have to launch. And now you notice we still have our Vectorcast debug that we created here. So now we don't have to go through the steps of setting that up again. All we have to do is hit launch debug mode. We are stopped at main, we hit resume, and now we've stopped and we've stopped and set ADC values. So we're actually now debugging a different function inside of the Vectorcast harness. So that's how you set up the debugger and 
each time now I could switch I could switch unit test environments and it would all be set up for me. All I'd have to do is hit debug. So you set this up one time on each computer that you want to debug VectorCast on and it should be good to go from then on. So I hope this video was helpful on how to debug the VectorCast harness with QNX Momentix. Please check out our other videos on our VectorCast YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.